Hey guys, Garage Sailor Vaughn here, and I'm going to show you the finds from April 19th and April 26th. On April 26th, I was only able to go out for about an hour, and I only went to two garage sales, so I only picked up a few things. This is the first thing that I picked up on the first garage sale, and it is an old pair of scissors. I looked everywhere, and I couldn't find any markings on it, which is unfortunate, but they're still old pair of scissors. I tried cutting and they still work perfectly. They um... I paid a dollar for them and I'm estimating on, that they sell on eBay for around ten dollars. The next thing that I picked up is this old pair of um, playing cards. There are two decks in here. It's a green velvety case with a gold edging and a gold little plaque that says Congress playing cards on the front. And then it says Pinnacle there. And the back has two cards with horses on them. So it opens up here. As you can see, they're brand new in the original plastic, unopened, which is nice. And they have horses on the back of the cards. So. I paid a dollar for these cards and I'm estimating that they sell on eBay for around $15. The next thing is this round candle holder. Um, I believe it says Orifors Sweden right here on the little tag. And then you can also see the marking on the bottom right here. So I paid a dollar for this candle holder pretty. Um, I believe it's going to sell on eBay for around $15. And the next thing I was saving for last because it's definitely my favorite and you'll find out why. So this this figurine it is a lady playing a mandolin or something. Um, I don't I've never I've never sold this brand before and I know very little about it but as you can see on the bottom says KPM and there is not a similar one that has sold or is selling on eBay so I have nothing much to go off of except similar ones and similar ones with a lady playing an instrument are selling on eBay for uh, 80 to 120 dollars and similar ones are selling up to five six hundred dollars so I'm going to estimate this one to sell for $80, but hopefully it will sell for quite a bit more. As you can see, the hands, nothing is broken. Everything is in great condition. There's no crazing, scratches, chips, anything that I could find. Really cool. And I found this at the last second, too. There was this, and there was a Waterford um, letter opener, crystal letter opener, and I came up with both of them, and I got a quote for $5 for this and $2 for the letter opener, and then I found out that they couldn't sell the letter opener for less than 25 and that was a little bit too much for me to spend on that, even though I know I could sell it on eBay for at least $30. So, but I still ended up uh, getting this one for even less because I was quoted a different number by someone else. So I paid them because it was less. So I'm very glad I got this. And if you guys um, rewatch this video in a couple weeks, I will have sold it and you will find out how much I sold it for. Also, you guys can rewatch some of my previous older videos and you can see uh, what things have sold for. Like I already sold the Burberry coat and other expensive items so if you watch my previous videos you'll find out what everything has sold for okay the next stuff I'm about to show you is everything that I picked up on April 26th 2012 so here's the first thing here it is a glue gun I got this um, to keep not to sell because there's constantly things I'm trying to fix and I want to have my own glue gun so I paid a dollar for it good price and the next thing as you can see I paid two dollars for it are these North Face gloves 
I looked and they're selling on eBay for probably $10 to $15. They're in brand new condition and they are size medium and it's a very good brand name but I'm going on a trip and I wanted some warm gloves so I got these to keep and only two dollars pretty good price also very cool is this this right here this is actually a jacket and I ended up getting it for two dollars it's a size large and I'll take it out of the bag for you so in that tiny little uh, bag was this jacket it's a really nice jacket I believe the guy that I purchased it from wore it one time Here's the brand name here. I know um, a lot of outdoor equipment and clothing, especially the uh, better branded name stuff, sells for a lot. I'm, uh, I'm going to keep this, but if I weren't going to keep it, I would sell it for around $35 to $40 just for this jacket. So I was very pleasantly surprised when I, when I researched it. It has a hood and it has a rainproof coating on it. It's really, really nice. So here's everything that I picked up on these two weekends. Uh, it's not that much stuff, but I hope the KPM figurine is going to make it all worth it. Uh, three out of the seven things I'm going to end up keeping, so only four of them are going to end up being sold. And these kind of things are my favorite things to pick up. The older things and the things I'm less familiar with. Because the more unfamiliar things I find, the more I'm able to learn about it. And the better I am at spotting them when I go to other garage sales. I hope my videos help you guys know uh, what to spot at garage sales and inspire you. Thank you guys so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.